and here we go this is a road I've only been on a few times now I'm currently following it's called the Tet S I've said this before but I don't know how else to describe what I'm doing and how I know the roads um, I want to create a road A, a guy I saw he's uh, apparently he was the he's the um, editor or the what do you call it the creator of a he was doing overland Georgia I think that is cool um, and you can you can cross east to west west to east here with a fairly amount of fair amount of dirt roads and paths and stuff and it's pretty cool you, you I don't think you can do a north to south that would be really really cool this is a beautiful road here my map's not even showing up but in my <laughs> in my um, track is so it's showing me when to turn but it's not showing me the name of the roads or anything doesn't show anything. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that here? It's not uh, showing me anything. So anyway, wasn't really planning to go any specific place, so that's okay. Um, I would like to know where I'm at when I turn down a road that I'm not familiar with, but I guess we can just turn around and come back. there it's pretty cool and there's a road there let's go check it out it's got a little fire service road sign I did come uh, a lot more prepared today um, what would you call it safety wise protection wise I finally remembered because I remember making a video of coming up here and I'm not gonna lie to you I was a little freaked out I don't know why I just had the heebie-jeebies on one of these roads and today I have protection so This goes on and on and on, <laughs> and I jinx it. That's the end, folks. What's the point? If it's for hunting, where's the hunters? I mean, this is way up in here, far away from everybody. I bought some wool hiking socks. I'm telling you they make a difference as far as comfort inside my boots uh, they're so thick very comfy um, got wet the other day and 
right crease cro uh, crossing a creek soaked my boots up and I was cold but I don't think I was as cold as I normally get I don't know if because of the wool it kept the heating of heat in of my foot even though the water was freezing from the from the river oh it was when <laughs> yeah now I remember why I was like wait I can't remember now why I got my feet wet someone who will remain nameless dropped their bike in the creek in the river and I would want somebody to come out and help me so I jumped in and, and went straight trying to help and he was able to pick it up. I never had to get off. No, I did get off my bike. I got off my bike and held it up for him. And sitting in little rocks and stuff. And you know, my, once you're wet, you're wet. There's it doesn't matter. So just walked around in the creek and then I had to ride home on the interstate in the cold. Yeah, but they did good. I'm, I was pretty happy so with I was them. Try some hiking wool socks and see they weren't that expensive. I think it was ten dollars for two or three pairs. Um, and it's worth it when you're riding in the cold. I guess.